with Chris Singleton. I'm John. So just about set now. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. Off tonight for the Yankees. The first and a pitch. Anthony Rizzo. And that one in the air center field. And George makes the grab. Rizzo out of the play. And there's one away. So digging in, Aaron Judge. Good contact guy, good defender. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. Way back, turning, looking, and that one is gone. Aaron Judge leaves the yard, and just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. And now it's Joey Gallo. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Springer there makes the catch, and there's two away. Well, the Blue Jays have seemed to go all in on players with MLB dads. What about those advantages, guys that have been around the clubhouse a lot? They are not afraid. Being in an intense game, 40,000, 50,000 people screaming, that's like being in the backyard for these guys that have grown up with a big league dad coming to the ballpark all the time. So they're very comfortable in this environment. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. That one hammered left field. On its way. And out of here. Josh Donaldson leaves the yard. And they add on. It's 3-0. Does an excellent job of getting his arms extended to get the fat part of the bat to the baseball. Wrists do not roll over. They stay through the zone and on plane. Excellent swing. Here is the young phenom, Glaber Torres. That one down the line. In plenty of time to first. And Glaber Torres retired. And that is that. Bottom of the first. Here's George Springer to start it off. Well, oh, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Oops, he came home with it. Bull Bichette up to the dish. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, and one. I love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound, sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going to attack with that fastball, move it all around the edges of the zone, and when he has to, fill up the strike zone with confidence that hitters can't touch it. So up next, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. Riding to the plate, and strike two. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Man at first. And now Teoscar Hernandez. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Swag and a miss. Quickly in an 0 2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Here's Guriel. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Springer, the lead runner at second. Hernandez on at first with two down. Oh, no, he threw it home. And he'll be safe at first. So base is full after the error. Here's Matt Chapman. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And a swing and a miss. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. 
Next one is off the play. And a count one and two. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Swing and a miss. And that is that. So they load the bases, but leave them stranded. We move to the second in Toronto. Yankees three. Top of the second, Aaron Hicks at the plate. Gosman back to work. Pulls that one foul. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a ball popped up. Biggio drifts towards it. And out number one on the grab. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Out towards right center field. Hernandez. Couple of steps in. Brings it in with a nice running grab. Two down. Two outs, space is empty. Ben Workvet digs in now. And a foul ball. The 0 1. That one fouled off. Oh, and two now on the ground. Sends it to first, third out, and that ends the frame. Back here at Rogers Center, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the DH, Alejandro Kirk. And there's a foul ball. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, through a lot of pitches. pitch and a foul ball he stays alive kicks and deals swing and a miss struck him out and now one away he came out of his mechanics there typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way but that time a little anxious Kevin Biggio up to the plate in there for strike one One down, base is empty. And down on strikes. And there's two away. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Next offering is in for a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. And welcome back. And here is Anthony Rizzo. And here it comes. Line drive, Adam in center field. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. And Judge spoils that one. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of the strikes. And now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, but it's fair. Here. Aaron Judge with a rocket. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 4 nothing.
that was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Sometimes we say it's a sinker that didn't sink. Well, that was a splitter that just didn't split. Kind of like a BP fastball. And when you throw that pitch, don't expect to get it back. You're getting a new baseball from the umpire. Now the left fielder, Joey Gallo, flied out his first time. And fouled off. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The pitch. And a foul ball. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Field two. And down on strikes he goes. Two gone now. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Lifted in the air right center field. Hernandez has a beat on it, and that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 4-0 ball. Back now in Toronto. Here's the center fielder, George Springer. Swings and misses. That's strike one. The pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Stays alive. Hot shot to third. Safe at first as they can't make the play. And now for the Jays, Bo Bichette. And that's in there for strike one. And he deals. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Ground ball to the right side. Into the outfield, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now fouled off. He was late. Springer on second. Bichette at first with no outs. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. And a swing and a miss. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Two on with one out. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And first offering is fouled off. Here's an opportunity. If you're going to get back in this game, you have to take advantage of this situation. This feels like their chance. At the belt and fires. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And two away now. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So... And he's got it in right field for the third out, so that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Now the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs and in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ballgame. Oh, and two now. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. On its way. And that one's gone. His second home run of the game, and they add to the lead. It's five zip. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Labor Torres up to hit. 
Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Looking at Torres, have to say he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. Now here's Aaron Hicks. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. And up next for New York, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. And that one ripped into right. Hernandez makes the catch, and that'll do it. The Yanks do get one on the solo homer, and the lead is now 5-0. Welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's the third baseman, Matt Chapman. First offering, and it just misses. That's where you want. Chapman. New pitcher for the Yankees, Zach Britton. And he's got a nice lead to work with. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Stays alive. One and two here. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Bounce to third. Donaldson collects. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Kirk swings through that one as he comes to the play for the second time today. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark. But obviously, out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking his own and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. And first offering is fouled off. Chapman leads off first with one away. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Danny Jansen to hit here. In there, and it's 0-1. And a pitch. Strike two. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. Well, looked at the fastball for strike three there to end the inning. Back here at Rogers Center, ready now for the fifth inning. Digging in, Ben Wurtvet. Gosman back to work. Into center, and that is Springer. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. So the lineup flips over. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. And that one fouled off. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. And a pitch. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Oh, it's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way. Just let it travel a hair more. Foul ball. now in Toronto bottom of the seventh at the play Danny Jansen swing and a miss that's strike one they've got a potent lineup and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit new pitcher now Michael King and a healthy size lead for him to go to work with Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup, and it'll be George Springer to step to the plate for the fourth time tonight. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. 0-2 oh as he waves at that one.
An intentional walk here. Interesting choice with the bases empty and one away. All these fans aren't really loving that. Uh, to walk him intentionally there seems pretty unnecessary. And, you know, he's a guy they paid to come and watch. Springer leads off first with one away. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Laddie in the box now. No balls in a strike. And the right-hander deals. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Here's the 0-2. The punch out there. Down on strikes. And he knew it. One. All set for the start of the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Joey Gallo. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is fouled back. This ball is hammered deep center field. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. Joey Gallo blasts one out, and they tack one on the board. It's 6-0, and their fifth home run of the game. Some things in this sport are contagious, Boog, and right now for these guys, clearly it's the long ball. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over-anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now a blast to left center, way back there, on its way, out of here. He'll circle the bases, that's his third home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 7-0. Wow, he's putting on an absolute show in this one, and there's no better time than the postseason to go off at the plate like this. I mean, a three-homer game, always special, but pulling it off in October during the biggest games of the year, that's incredible. New pitcher now for the Jays, Trevor Richards. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Nice line drive to the pole side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Man at first with one gone. Here's Aaron Hicks. He hits the wall and hangs on. Great catch. Isaiah Kiner Falefa stepping in now for the Yankees. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. The relay throw, but he's in there easily. Ben Workvet stepping in now for the Yankees. On the ground, right side. Base hit. One run is in. Here's the throw to the plate. The tag out. But one run does score in the play before the inning ends. Two homers in the inning lead to three runs. Last half of the eighth coming up. And welcome back. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And now the Toronto cleanup hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. Rip, but it curls foul. And the righty deals. Smoked into left, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And it's a double, making him three for four on the day. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. He handles it himself. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. And here is Matt Chapman. That one's in there, 0-1. One. one away with a runner at third. The 0-2. Stays alive. 
Bowen Chu now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really was in a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Base hit, and a run comes in. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Racing makes the catch. And that'll do it. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Ryan Barucki takes over on the mound. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Well struck, right field. That one hops against the fence. But he holds up at first. Good play out there to cut it off. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and dipped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't... Judge rips that one. Pulls it in on the warning track. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. That one ripped, and now maybe extra bases. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. So first and second with one man gone. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. And that one wrapped foul. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that one is out of here. John Carlos Stanton goes deep. And they tack on three. It's 11 1. Let's take another look at it, but this time with the help of StatCast. Well, this one wasn't hit that high, but when you can launch it at 111 miles per hour off the bat and get some backspin, it'll carry enough to get out of here. Jimmy Garcia gets the call from the pen, and he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. Here's Josh Donaldson. And it's fouled away. Still only one out here in the inning. Rolled over to third, and he picks it up in foul territory. Righty delivers. In the air to left center. And George makes the grab. Two down. Here comes Glaber Torres. Swung on, belted. That one back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Giancarlo Stanton flexing that big time power swing. We head now to the bottom of the ninth. It's Major League Baseball. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Stepping in, Danny Jansen. And first offering is fouled off. Clay Holmes comes on now, and he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. Owen oh 2 now. Swings and misses. One out. 
Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Springer stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is foul back. And the 0-2. 0-2 oh, count, you got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Right-handed reliever. This one in the air center field. Judge cutting across. Pulls it in, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Bo Bichette next up for the Blue Jays. And first offering is fouled off. Out to short. Connor Falefa picks it up. In there safely. The two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the swings here and blasts one left field hits the top of the wall across is the runner from first and they're on the board but lots of ground to make up nice double right there loud contact coming off the bat didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here but you'll take that swing and that result every time Hernandez in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike Next offering is in for a strike. No ball, two strikes. Runner leads away at second. And that is it. They are headed for the ALCS. a really solid division series win they can move on to the next round and i think relax a little bit more congratulations boys get ready for the alcs